Video blog. Hey there, this is Tim from Toy Circles, and welcome to episode 19 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. Okay, so, um, today I have three new species of fish to show you, starting off with the copper banded butterfly fish. Um, so these guys are grazers, that's kind of the thing that really uh, summarizes them. Um, oh, just to be clear, you are, it's the uh, the guys with white and, uh, and orange stripes, that, that that's the guys we're talking about here. Um, you see those tiny little mouths, so they use those to eat tiny little bugs. They typically, in, in, in uh, the wild, they would kind of graze constantly, basically, throughout the day, using those long noses to stick their, uh, get their mouths into crevices and picking up little bugs. Um, and then the way this comes out, in the way you have to care for them, in an aquarium is that you have to feed them quite often so my research has told me that you have to feed these guys three times a day uh, and we're gonna see I'm gonna have to wait and see how that kind of comes out in the game mechanics uh, because you know, even feed, feeding your fish once a day is actually quite a challenge in the game at the moment so ha having to kind of go back and there's all sorts of potential um, potential uh, complications in terms of you know what if you feed them the first time at kind of three o'clock in the afternoon um, well then can you just feed them twice more it doesn't seem kind of quite right anyway so that's gonna be a tricky one I'm not sure how kind of uh, feeding frequencies will come in when they're more than one a day uh, but anyway ideally yeah these guys need to be fed uh, three times a day and they're also quite picky eaters because those tiny mouths they can't just you know so you've got some greedy fish you've got things like damsels you've got things like groupers things that are pretty easy to feed you just kind of drop any kind of uh, any kind of food in the tank and they'll just kind of nope, eat it up whereas these guys can be quite picky because they're tiny mouths and so they actually like eating things like live um, mis mysid sh uh, shrimp these tiny little shrimp um, and of course you know buying in live shrimps can be quite expensive so actually what you can do is as I've, I've talked about this in previous video blogs you can actually grow them in your aquarium uh, that's something I want to add um, uh, yeah but uh, what else about these guys um, they're uh, pretty territorial um, I've actually got two in the tank here now the only way you can get away with having two in your tank normally is if they are a, a pair so a male and a female but um, if you just get two males in the tank, then um, they normally uh, do not like each other. So they're very beautiful fish, but unless you've got a very big tank, difficult to keep more than one. Um, oh, and the other little thing about them is they, they, they eat little worms. So like they like eating little bugs, little... Um, pests um, and yeah and these worms can be a real a pest in, in um, aquarium tanks because they can build up and you can get loads of them you can kind of see them all crawling over the place so these guys are pretty good at kind of keeping the numbers down um, again that's not something in the game right now but who knows uh, that could be a pretty cool thing to add um, and I love the idea of the animals themselves being part of the game mechanics and part of the, the care requirements for your, your tanks um, while we're here, I just thought I'd mention a little bit about uh, what I've been working on in terms of the, the movement. I've actually put in a brand new movement system now to take care of um, more more different types of fish movement. So I'll be talking about those as well. What we've got now is these butterfly fish are all kind of fluttery. They kind of uh, flutter in the water and they do these short little little bursts of movement. How is you, we've got the, uh, the the damsels, which kind of do this very kind of jumpy movement. They'll kind of like spin on a... Uh, on a hair, what's it? Spin on a on a dime, <laughs> and uh, whereas the butterfly fish aren't quite like that, they kind of do these little darts, little float around. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Next, a crowd, bit of a crowd favorite. We have the regal tang. So, uh, fans of Disney Pixar movies will recognize these guys as Dory from uh, both Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, and um, yeah. Uh, what have I got to say about these guys? Well, actually, you kind of think of them as really, really sweet because of the way Dory is in the films, but actually, they can be quite, um, they can actually be kind of nasty. They've got this sharp blade on their tails, at the base of their tail, and they can actually, um, sometimes if you get a group of them together, they will, they'll kind of, um, they'll fight for... <laughs> Look at this guy, he's fallen right through the bottom of the tank. Um, yeah, I'm still working on the, on the, on the movements, uh, 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 trying to, uh, in the future, I will uh, try to make it so that they don't go through the, um, the scenery and that sort of stuff. Uh, and they currently clip a little bit sometimes when they get a little bit too big. <laughs> anyway, but they'll have these sword fights to kind of choose who's the kind of dominant person in the pack. Um, so yeah, they can actually be a little, a little bit um, quarrelsome. 
but the cool thing about it is if you get enough of them in the tank together, um, then they kind of, the, the fighting kind of gets shared out among them and none of them gets picked on too much. If you just have one or two, then one becomes the dominant one and just bullies the other one constantly. So these guys, actually, yeah, you can keep one, but actually you can also keep, say, f uh, at least four and and um, you won't have such an issue with the, with the fighting. Um, what else about these guys? Yeah, that's actually about it for these guys. They're tangs, so, um, you know, they have similarities to the yellow tangs. These guys are omnivores, whereas the yellow tangs like vegetable matter more than anything else. Um, but very, very cool looking. Uh, these guys are going to have some prestige points for being famous, because they're obviously known from the film. Um, but I think they're very, very attractive. I really like the way these guys look. I like the way they do this kind of flutter motion with their fins, like a butterfly. Okay, and finally... We have, <laughs> look at all the chromuses at the top of the tank. This is an emperor angel fish, the big daddy. This is the biggest fish of them all. Um, and he's called an em emperor angel fish. And I think it's the perfect name because I think the, the word you would use to describe this guy is imperial. Um, they like to be the king of their tank. And you know, if they, if they if little fish get in their way, they will dart at them to push them out of the way. They don't do that currently, but uh, that's part of the behavior of, of them in the wild and in, in tanks, um, in real aquariums. It'd be cool if I could capture that. We'll see if it's possible. But, um, and the other fun facts is that they, they like being cleaned by cleaner rats. So if they see a cleaner rash, they'll hover, uh, tilted upwards into the, in, in, the, in the middle of the water so that the, the rats can get under their fins and, 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 and clean them off by you know, eating all the little weird bits that I've got attached to them. Um, which again sounds a bit like a Roman emperor, you know, getting someone to clean them. Uh, so this is the emperor angelfish. The other cool thing about them is they actually have different coloration when they're young. Again, this isn't in the game at the moment, but it's something that I'd like to get in in the future. You know, there's all these, these cute little facts about the fish. Um, that, you know, over time I want to just kind of fill out just to make the game really kind of cool and, and interesting. I want, you know, you know, the fish obviously have their stats and they have their care requirements, but I also want them to have their, their unique little characteristics. I have tried to get that across a little bit with the way they swim. The Emperor Angel Fish, uh, you know, if you can kind of ignore the fact that he's currently surfing through the sand, uh, he, he likes to uh, move around in these long, these long swimming patterns right through rocks. Um, Whereas, as you've seen with some of the other ones, they're a lot more darty. Whereas this guy kind of like goes for long periods, just swimming round and round. This is about the the smallest tank you could put him in. He's he really is quite a big guy. Um, he's omnivore, but he does he does like his vegetable matter. Uh, so yeah, I will try to get try to capture the, all the different types of food into the in, into the game as well. Okay, so that's it for this week. Um, next week, I'm hopefully going to have a bit more. Of the actual gameplay stuff so right now basically what i've been working on is the movement systems actually getting these new fish into the game um, i've also made it so i can walk around in first person mode just to make it a little bit more convenient when i'm doing these vlogs um and uh but yeah next week i actually want to start a series fingers crossed of um, a long-term game where hopefully i'll have some more of the mechanics in so i can actually i'll actually play a game where i'm unlocking new stuff rather than just showing you things that are readily unlocked already unlocked um, so that's the plan next week and for, it will probably be split up over a number of episodes alright well thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next time bye